series where we are continuing our discussion on calculating ratios and then using those ratios to determine a company's financial health and well-being compared to its industry. So here we'll be talking about two different ratios that measure a company's ability to pay their long-term debt. So the first one we'll look at is the debt ratio. The debt ratio shows the proportion of a company's assets that are financed with debt. So to calculate the debt ratio, we take our total liabilities and divide by our total assets. The second ratio to measure the ability to pay long-term debt is the times interest earned ratio. And this ratio will tell us how many times the operating income can cover their current interest expense. So are they able to pay off the interest on their current debt as it comes due? So we're going to take our income from operations and divide that by interest expense. So let's take some data and see if we can calculate these two ratios. So here's some data. So press pause on your player now and see if you can calculate the debt ratio and the times interest earned ratio. And once you calculate these numbers, think about what they mean. Okay, here we are back and hopefully you have already calculated the debt ratio and the times interest earned ratio and then thought about what those numbers mean to you. So the first one we'll look at is the debt ratio. And as we discussed earlier, for the debt ratio, we need our total liabilities divided by total assets. Well, in this problem, they don't actually calculate total liabilities for us. They only give us total current liabilities, and then they give us long-term note payable, which we have to remember, that's a long-term liability. So we have to consider both of those when calculating total liabilities. So we'll take the total current liabilities and add that to our long-term note payable for our numerator and divide that by our total assets of $560,000 and that will give us a debt ratio of 0.56 or 56%. So what this tells us is that 56% of this company's assets are financed with debt. A good rule of thumb typically is a debt ratio of 0.6 or lower. Uh, again, you would need to do industry research if the debt ratio is much higher than 0.6 to make sure that if that's appropriate in that company's industry. But rule of thumb, 60% or less of a company's assets need to be financed by debt. Keep in mind that if this company's assets are financed 60% by debt, that means the creditors own 56% of their assets and therefore the owners would own 44% of the assets. The second ratio we talked about was the times interest earned ratio. To calculate this one we need income from operations and interest expense. So we're going to take our income from operations of $165,000 and divide that by our interest expense of $48,000. That will give us a times interest earned ratio of 3.4 times. That means this company can cover their interest expense as it comes due with their income from operations 3.4 times. So it's a fairly good times interest earned ratio as they can cover their interest on their loans as they come due. So please visit my website at web.me.com slash Brian Ruth for more accounting tools and videos.